Hey guys, this is Mike from Presto Mike and today I'm gonna show you how you can take all of your photos from a trip and convert them back to a basic slideshow movie that you can view on any device or share online. We will be using Movavi Video Suite 16 today. First, you will need to have the Movavi Video Suite installed. Just head on to movavi.com forward slash suite and download your free trial version from there. Note there will be restrictions in the trial version, so I'd recommend you buy the product. Look for discount coupons on couponism.com, apply them during the checkout and you can get your copy for a lot less than the stated $59.95. So let's get back to our tutorial. Once you have your video suite installed, open the software. You should find a splash screen with many options that are categorized into video, audio, photo, data, extras and user guides. Now that's the best part of this program. You can do a lot more than just slideshows. But for the sake of this tutorial, click on the photo menu from the left hand side of the dialog. Click on Create Slideshows option from the right window section. Movavi's Slideshow Wizard will be open now. There are a couple of ways you can proceed from here, but the easiest will be to click on the Slideshow Wizard and get started right away. But hang on a moment. Let's quickly take a look at the Advanced Project Setup menu. You can change the resolution, sample rate, framing, channels and FPS from this dialog. This is particularly useful if you have preferences for the output format. These are my settings and I'm gonna leave them that way. Click on the double arrow on the left hand side of the dialog. If you clicked OK that's fine. Just go to File, New Slideshow and you'll be back on track. Click on Slideshow Visit. Here's where the fun begins. There are three steps to be completed before you can see your slideshow in action. Step 1. Add your photos. You can either use the files or folders options at the top right hand corner of the window. The first one will allow you to choose specific files from the folders, while the latter will add all the files and folders of the project. I'm going to add files to my project, just for demo purposes. I'm holding down the control button on the keyboard to select multiple photos. Once you've selected the photos, click open. You will find all the selected photos in the wizard's interface. Notice that you have some properties listed out in the window. Slide duration, slideshow length, number of slides. Do not click on finish because we are not done yet. Let's go to step 2. Transitions. Here's where you select the transitions for your slides. After all, what good is a slideshow without transitions, right? Select step 2 to choose your transitions. You have a couple of options to choose from. Remember, this is not final in itself. You will retain full editing capabilities and have access to customize the show after the wizard does its thing. If you'd like a variety in your transitions, choose random transitions and don't click finish yet. Now we go to step 3, adding music. You have two options here, add one of the built-in tracks or add your own audio. I'm gonna add one of the built-in tracks for the purposes of this tutorial. You may choose whichever option suits you best. There is a good selection of music you can choose from the built-in tracks, but it's not exhaustive. When your music has been added, you will be presented with a few more options. If you want your slides to be adjusted to the tempo of the song, choose yes, or else choose no. You can also set the minimum slide duration. The default will be 2 seconds, but I've changed mine to 1 second. Now you can hit the big finish button. Play back your slideshow to see what it looks like. 
you're happy with it, click on the export button to export to a variety of options. On the other hand, if you're not happy with the slideshow, you can customize it using the options available on the left hand side of the video editor screen. Here's where you have full power over your show. But that's for another tutorial. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to be notified when new videos are uploaded and leave a comment if you'd like to see more features of Mobile Video Suite 16 explained. This is Mike from Presto Mike. Until next time, bye.